go out. You look so sleepy. They are love eyes, aren't they? You're giving me your love eyes. They're so cute, your love eyes. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, look at those love eyes. <laughs> You're a good girl. Look, I just received this in the post. I really needed another kind of neutral cardigan. And I got this off eBay. And it's pure cashmere. And it's brand new from Fat Face. And I got it for a bargain. I literally love shopping on eBay. I buy a lot of my clothes on there and yeah it's so good and I don't know I just love it it saves money it's great for the environment brilliant so I'm really chuffed it's brand new but I'm going to pop it in the washer with my other woolens because I don't know I just like to wash things before I wear them happy 13th of December um it's very very cold again but I love it it's really lovely I had a lovely lay-in this morning. I had a terrible day yesterday. I felt really poorly yesterday and spent most of my day laying on the sofa feeling really sorry for myself. And um, I went to bed last night feeling ghastly. But I had a lovely sleep. I think I only woke up twice, which is oh, amazing for me. And this morning I thought, right, I'm going to make myself feel pretty today after yesterday. I need a little bit of uplifting, so I had a shower, washed my hair, put some makeup on, even put my sweet little Christmas necklace on from the sweet styry, I think. I'll put a link below. I've got a few of her pieces and they're absolutely adorable. This is a polar bear in a Christmas teacup. <laughs> um... I had a lovely breakfast. I had gluten-free pancakes with banana and blueberries and maple syrup. I had a coffee. So that was a good start to the day. But now it's about 11.30 and I feel in a silly panic. I don't need to panic about time. I'm not working. I can do nothing all day if I need to. So why am I doing that silly panic feeling? going to try and shove that down <laughs> because really today I can do whatever I want to do. I would like to do a bit of ironing because I yeah, I have a big pile and I'd like some of my dresses out of the ironing pile so I can wear them. Um, and do you know what? All I really think I'm going to do today is possibly some ironing and I'd really love to try and finish my smitten quilt this year. And I think it's very doable. I think I've got three flowers to quilt and then the binding. So I think I'm going to do that. So I've no need to panic whatsoever. Um, I'm feeling very, very queasy again. But I have got one day less than a week. So I've got six days of antibiotics left six days. I can do anything for six days, I'm sure. Um, yeah, Bryony's working from home today, so it's going to be very peaceful here. And so, yeah, I'm just going to try and enjoy myself. Um, right, shall we open the advents? <laughs>
is number 13 of last year's advent um, for my sea breeze blanket. I've actually managed to keep up. I think because I've been a bit poorly. Um, I'm so distracted, sorry. I think because I've been a bit poorly, um, I've had a lot of sofa time. So, yeah. So, I think I've got about half of yesterday still to crochet in. And then I'll be on to this one. I've been super lucky recently and received a few gifts in the post, so I thought I'd like to share them with you. From my gorgeous friend, Ali, she sent me these adorable key rings. Look, it's a little Highland cow with tweed on. So adorable. And look at him. She also sent me these gorgeous mitts, which actually I think would be so good for when I'm working. Because so I do get cold hands. Aren't they lovely? And my favourite thing, my favourite gift to ever receive is lovely soap. Look, not one, but two bars. This one, I think, is argan oil. And this one is lavender and lemongrass. Oh, lovely. I just love soap. Thank you so much, Ali. Ali is just always there. She's like my little angel in my phone. She's always there when I'm having a tough day. She's always messaging me and saying, hope you're having a lovely day. Make sure you wear a pretty dress today and all those cute things. So I'm so grateful to you, Ali. Look at this package of delights I received from my lovely friend, Karen. It was such a delightful surprise. Just look. This is a hand-turned spoon. Would it be called whittled? That a husband made. I mean, oh my God. Gosh, it's adorable. Look at this. That is going on my tree right in a minute. Adorable, absolutely adorable. Gorgeous beeswax candles, this little stocking. But look, it's got chocolate coins in and a little hanger. That's going on the tree. The chocolate coins will obviously come out, <laughs> go in my tummy. Look at these. How on earth have they been made? Karen, you are a genius. I cannot get my head around these. They're so beautiful. And of course, they're in Liberty. Got two of those, so they're going on the tree. I think my favourite thing <laughs> is this gold ginkgo leaf. Excuse my shaking. It's just how I am at the moment. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Tea bag and look, tiny little butterflies made out of some paper that she, I can't think what it's, litho something. But she, she made the paper look like that and then turned them into butterflies. And look at this, sweetest little card. That is going in a frame. Even the labels and, I mean, the attention to detail is, well, I'm in awe. Honestly, I'm in awe. It's just, everything is so beautiful. And I'm not going to be able to throw anything away. Everything is going to be used and seen and loved. I adore it. Thank you, Karen. It was such, such a wonderful pick-me-up. these two bags we've got left in the shop 
These are the bags that came in this year's uh, Knitter's Advent Calendar. And we always make a few more just in case. And we've just got two left and they're made from beautiful Betsy Tana Lawn, Liberty obviously. Um, they have a mini pin pinner on the front so you can put your favourite enamel pin on there. And they got two pockets inside and they're all trimmed and a little a little clip to put your scissors and progress keepers etc on. And they have the most beautiful, I don't know if it's picking up, the most beautiful golden sparkly linen. And there's just two of those left and I just wanted to share them. Um, we've also got, we're really getting to the end of our Christmas things now. And you may not receive them in time for Christmas, but... We have one of Bryony's famous little pouches left. Just one in the shop. Needs adopting, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? It's a lovely print. And we have two sets of these adorable Katie Parker Potts stitch markers, progress keepers. And they go so well with this bag. Look, I didn't realise till I just put them together. But yeah, just a little heads up of what's in the shop that's Christmassy. Oh dear, Mabel's sad because I'm sitting in the chair, which means she doesn't have a cuddle buddy, do you, darling? As I have to sit in the chair when I do my sewing because of the light levels. She's very upset. <laughs> What's she going to do now? Oh, she's going to be annoying now. <laughs> So I'm on this flower and I'm going to finish this flower before lunch. And then I think after that I've got three more. So yes, we'll go now. She gets very annoying sometimes. <laughs>